Okay, so first of all, click somewhere inside the data set and then go to insert and insert a scatter chart. Then I'll reposition and resize this. And in order to format this quickly, I'll right click and go to change chart type and then go to templates and select this template here and OK. Then I'll right click on the chart and go to select data and then select this series here and edit. And you'll see that the X and Y values are formatted in the same way. So we start with the sheet name and then an exclamation point and then the first cell reference in the range, then a colon and then the last cell reference in the range. And I want to recreate this so I am going to click and drag to select it and right click and copy and then OK and OK again and then Control V to paste. And what I want to do is change the cell references so they are dynamic. And I'll do that using a match formula. So the lookup value will be the start date here and then the lookup array will be this range here. And the match type is zero for an exact match and close brackets and enter. And this gets me the number one because the match formula is looking for this value here in this range and the 1st of September happens to be the first value in this range. So I get the number one. But I don't actually want this. What I actually want is the row number. So I need to change this formula so this range includes the first two rows as well. And then it will get me the number three as the 1st of September is in the third row. And I want to do the same thing for the end date. So I'll use the match formula again. And this time we'll be looking up the end date and we'll be looking for it in this range here and the match type will again be zero for an exact match and this gets me the number 27 and I'll just double check to make sure that the 2nd of September is in row 27. Now we need to link these two cells here to this cell reference. So I'll do that by putting an equals sign in the beginning of this and then sheet one exclamation point dollar sign a dollar sign. This can all stay as it is, but I do want to change it into text. So I'll put quotation marks around this and then put an and symbol here in order to join the first part to the number three and then put an AND symbol after the number three to join it to the end as well. Then colon, dollar sign, A, dollar sign. This can also all stay as it is, so I'll put quotation marks around this as well. And then another AND symbol at the end to join it to the last number. And then we still have the same cell reference here as we did before. But this time I can change the number three here to be linked to this cell and change the last number to be linked to this cell here. And now the cell reference has changed to be looking from row three to row 27. And if I change the end date here to the 3rd of September, then this number here changes and so does the last number here. And I'll just double check that row 51 is where the 3rd of September starts. Now this will get me the values in column A, so all of the dates, but I also want the CO2 values as well. So I will copy all of this by clicking in the formula bar and clicking and dragging and then control C to copy and escape and then control V to paste. And the formula is going to be almost exactly the same, except now I want to be looking in column B instead. So I'll change both the A's to B's and enter. 
then we need to take both of these values and link them to the chart. And in order to do that, I need to make these named ranges. So I'll go to formulas and define name. And the first one will be the X values. And in the refers to box, I will refer to this cell. However, at the moment, this is just plain text. In order to convert it into an actual cell reference, I need to put the indirect formula around this. And then the chart will be able to recognize this as an actual cell range and OK. And I'll do the same thing for the second one as well. So we'll go to Name, Manager and New. And this time these will be the Y values. And in the Refers To box, I'll be linking to this cell with the indirect formula around it. And the indirect formula allows you to indirectly reference a cell range and OK. And Close. And now select the chart and right click and select data. Then select this series and edit. And now in the X values, I'll delete all of this here, but leave the sheet name and the exclamation point and then put in the named range that I just made. So this will be the X values. And then I'll do the same thing here. So delete all of the cell references. And then you can also press F3 to get up a list of all of the named ranges that you have. And so this time I can just click on Y values and OK, and then OK and OK again. And you'll see that the chart has now updated to show only two days worth of data. And if I change the end date here to the 30th of September, then that updates the match formula, which updates these two values here, which then updates the named ranges, which update the chart. And I can drag this chart over these cells to hide them. And I'll also just demonstrate this working with the start date as well. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to make the axes of a Excel chart dynamic using named ranges. And that is everything.